closest celestial body to Earth will soon be surrounded by human bases and even a space taxi for good. I'm talking about the Moon, our cosmic neighbor, the object we see daily in the sky. NASA plans to visit the Moon with its new space program called Artemis, a sister of Apollo in Greek mythology. This project was already launched as the first mission of the program, Artemis 1, did a few special orbits around the Moon in December 2022. The first uncrewed integrated flight test of the Orion spacecraft. Artemis should help us explore the Moon the way it was never explored before, and we were walking on the Moon more than 50 years ago, so this time it will be something even greater. First of all, in November 2024, the second Artemis mission and the first scheduled crewed mission with astronauts on board should launch. However, we still don't know the exact date, but it should be around the end of the year. And we also know what four astronauts will represent us on a spacecraft headed to the Moon. A mission commander, Reed Wiseman, who previously flew as a flight engineer aboard the International Space Station for Expedition 41 in 2014. A pilot, Victor Glover, a pilot who previously served as the pilot of SpaceX Crew-1, mission to the International Space Station as part of Expedition 64 in 2020. The first woman on the moon, mission specialist Christina Koch, a flight engineer on the International Space Station for Expeditions 59, 60 and 61. She also set a record for the longest single spaceflight by a woman with a total of 328 days in space. And a mission specialist, Jeremy Hansen, a Canadian Space Agency astronaut and a fighter pilot. With this crew, Artemis II won't actually land on the Moon. However, we'll do a flyby around the Moon and return to Earth, being the first crewed mission beyond low Earth orbit since Apollo 17 in 1972. In December 2025 or later, the first crewed Moon landing mission will happen as Artemis III will land on the South Polar region of the Moon mainly because of its constant light and ice that should be on the surface. The mission would have two astronauts land on the surface of the Moon for a stay of a few days. There will also be another two astronauts creating a crew of four people, two women and two men. Artemis III spacecraft is planned to dock in the Lunar Gateway Station, a first space station outside of Earth's orbit that will serve as a gateway for astronauts that will go to the Moon for missions. This station, similar to the International Space Station, is planned to be put in the Moon's orbit in November 2025 by two rockets, Falcon Heavy and SLS Block 1B. This station will be so far the most advanced space project humans have ever done, as all of the important space companies are involved in this. NASA. European Space Agency, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and Canadian Space Agency. It will be built part by part in the orbit. The Lunar Gateway will be autonomously operating most of the time in its early years. The station itself will contain a solar-powered communication hub, science laboratory, short-term habitation module for government agency astronauts and a holding area for rovers and other robots that will be used in the Artemis missions later. Artemis III primary mission is to bring the next generation of humans to our natural satellite and start the new space age with a lunar base in which humans will inhabit from mana to recurring and the construction of spacecraft that will take humans beyond the moon, potentially to the red planet Mars. Four days after launch and after a successful dock at the Lunar Gateway Space Station, 
Artemis III astronauts will do all the preparations for the moon landing, prepare the suits for moonwalks, review the navigation equipment, and so on. After this, as it was said before, the crew will be divided into pairs. Two of the astronauts will stay at the gateway to carry out studies of the moon and to maintain communications with Earth and astronauts on the moon. Two astronauts will enter the human landing system, something like a moon taxi, to descend to the lunar surface. Artemis will no longer use lunar landers like the Apollo missions. The HLS will serve as a link between the gateway station and the surface. It will carry a food supply for the astronauts to stay on the lunar surface for up to two weeks. The Artemis III landing mission is planned for only four days. During their stay, astronauts will have four extravehicular missions. First, to collect at least 35 kilograms of lunar samples to be studied on Earth. Second, to install ground monitoring and survey systems for better analysis of the Moon's soil. Third, to search for deposits of water or ice in lunar craters. And fourth, to carry out expeditions to define an area in which to establish a lunar base. The two astronauts on the gateway will determine the area in which the next Artemis mission will land. The area will be based on maintaining contact with NASA. After four days and a cleanup, the astronauts will board the ascent module to reconnect with the gateway. After this is done, the four astronauts will head back to Earth. In September 2028, the second moon landing is expected to happen as Artemis IV will leave the Earth. As this mission is further to the future than the others, we don't have exact information on what will exactly happen on Artemis IV and V. We only know that the main goal of Artemis IV is an assembly of the Lunar Gateway Station. The mission will deliver a habitat module for the Gateway. NASA hasn't yet confirmed if astronauts will land on the Moon, as there will be a lot of work on the Gateway Station. However, the mission should have two astronauts to land on the Lunar South Pole for six days to explore, conduct science and do the missions. After all of this is done, the crew will head back to Earth. The last planned mission, however not the end of humans on the Moon, Artemis V is expected to launch on September 2029, one year after the previous mission. This mission will deliver a lunar terrain vehicle and eSprit, a refueling and communication module, and a robotic arm system for Gateway. After docking, two astronauts will board the lunar lander and fly it down to the surface. They will have a similar goal as Artemis IV, then return safely home. This is not the end of Artemis. These were only the planned missions, but it is expected that the Artemis program will have more missions in the future. The moon base will not be built until 2030, said NASA Associate Administrator Jim Free, however, is expected to be built even later. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe.